at Blackwall Meadows this afternoon. The FA Cup returns to town with just over £5,500 of prize money on offer for the winners between Darlington and Scarborough Athletic. For Josh Gowling's first FA Cup tie with the Quakers, he makes five changes, including debuts for two loan signings, David Robson and Jack Hanna, alongside Ben Liddle, Andrew Nelson and Jordan Musto returning to the starting eleven. Jonathan Greening makes three changes, with Waleji, Green and Duros in, Coulson and Wiles dropping to the bench and Bailey Gooder out. Yeah, maybe worth pushing Salkeld a little further forward for those long balls from the back. He's maybe a little taller than Nelson. Ball was turned around the corner there and Will Hatfield invited the foul. Yeah. League foul not the best but wins in the FA Cup for both sides and amongst that. Hatfield takes the free kick, puts it on the penalty spot, a free header, absolute free header on the penalty spot there. I think it's Jazz Sukar. Crowd have gone a little bit quiet, doesn't mean too much goal mouth activity for either team so far. 17 and a half minutes in, Darling nil Scarborough nil. Darling will lose possession there, but Griffiths picks it back up. He's on the edge of the box, Callum Griffiths. Has the shot left-footed over the bar. It's picked Alex Purvis' pocket there on the corner of the area and thought he'd have a go, but... Chance for Scout to emerge down the left-hand side and Callum Griffiths slides in and upends his man. To... Uh, too bad on it. Anyway, free kick for Scarborough just outside uh, the left-hand side of the 18-yard box. Comes into the box. It's a uh, block saved on the line. The second attempt by Robson. Not sure if he came for the first one and got it or, or what it was. I think it was just drilled in straight at him and he didn't get a clean catch on the first one but then in amongst the melee. 31 minutes gone here at Blackwell Meadows in the early kickoff. Musto wins the header looking for Nelson. Just uh, no-nonsense clearance up into the air by Thornton. Comes off the arm of a Scarborough player, but referee plays advantage. Darling breaking in the box with Griffiths. Griffiths with a chance. Oh, it's a good save, but uh, great. That's Darling's best chance, in fact. Absolutely. I wondered if Hatfield might have a go himself, but he slides in Callum Griffiths, and then I wonder whether he's going to shoot first time. He takes a touch, gets the shot on target, Cracknell down well to save. The way, but it's not at all. Taylor not in the 11 today. It's Robson, who's uh, starting. It's just force of habit, that one. Plays the ball forward. Perver wins the second header, then Platt drops it back to Selkeld, and then uh, it's uh, Ben Little who wins another header there. A little bit of head tennis, and the ball played forward in the rough area of Mulhern, but tackles flying in. Selkeld will pick the ball up and drops it back to Sukar. I feel like he wanted to play that out to Musto, but the referee was maybe just a bit in the way. Sukar plays the diagonal ball looking for Griffiths. Griffiths gets up ahead of his man and it comes out to Nelson. Darling with three men forward. Nelson corner of the 18-yard box has the shot. Oh, Cracknell saves it after the deflection. Scar will be glad of the free kick though if they can make something of it. Maloney plays it into the feet of Mulhern, trying to catch everybody out. Mulhern gets to the byline, gets the cross across and it's Hatfield who's clearing it. Only to the edge of the box though. Harry Green picks it up on the corner of the 18-yard box. Platt goes to mark him, Green trying to get around the outside, then he brings it back right in, onto his right foot, then gets the left foot across, which is stabbed away to the edge of the box. Perver breaks in and plays the ball with his chest, and it's a chance to, for the shot, and the shot is uh, deflected wide by Callum Griffiths. I don't think it was going to threaten think, the goal. Yeah, heading wide anyway. But Callum Griffiths, I think, just... And went further wide. Uh, further wide. Another free, another corner, should I say, for Scarborough in front of that tin shed. It's going to be right-footed in swinging. This time it does come into the box. There's a Scarborough player gets across the front, gets a touch, but comes off a Darlington leg for another corner on that side. Between the sides? No, not at the moment. Another corner for Scarborough. In swinging. Stuck in the six-yard box. A good, powerful header, that by Hannah. Comes back out though for another opportunity to cross. Right foot across this time. Comes in, takes a deflection on the way past or gets a flick one or the other. I think it's Mulhern who's wheeling away to celebrate. Got a touch on the way past and Scarborough take the lead in this FA Cup tie. Well, the Quakers, you would say, have maybe been on top for parts of the half, but it looks like the visitors will be going in with the lead. Shot comes in from the edge of the area after the corner. Flicked on by Mulhern, who picks up a yellow card for his celebration. But I'm sure he'll take that. He's given the visitors the lead as well. It's a good finish, actually, by Mulhern. Just have another look at it there. The cross comes in. I don't know if it was a shot or a cross, but Mulhern does rise. He did torment Darlington at Farsley last season. Mm. Ben Little is going to take this. It's just over a year since Ben Little scored that memorable equaliser against Blythe Spartans. This time he puts the ball into the box, goes all the way across, but Darlington can't get a touch on it. Comes back to Hatfield. 
35 yards. Brings it onto his left foot as the shot, which is a decent effort, but a couple of yards wide. Littleton Musto. Musto then plays it forward, looking for Nelson. Nelson's backing into his man, turns it around the corner to Musto. Musto with a chance to cross. Decent delivery. It's over Cracknell. Oh, it's headed over the bar from a yard or Griffiths. two from. Is it Sal Keld or Griffiths? It's Griffiths, isn't it? Yeah. I need to have a look at the replay. It looked as if he was so close to the goal when he headed it. It's yeah, Cracknell left grasping at thin air as that goes over him. And Fantastic cross by Jordan Musto, I have to say. Took Cracknell out of the game altogether, didn't it? And uh, Callum Griffiths was flying in full pelt at the back post, the uh, right wing back as he is today, but couldn't get it goal bound. What do with him getting another one today? There's no way I would ever forget Mark Beck doing a, a, a balletic dive. <laughs> Sukar's beaten his man on the left hand side, trying to get the cross in, does get the cross in. Cracknell's scrambling for it, he's not going to get there. He come out of his ground, Hatfield picks it up, finds Lees. Lees just dinks one in back post. Headed clear by Finlay Barnes. Comes back to Little. Little's going to dink it back into the box to attack. Oh, it's a good opportunity that again. This time it is Callum Griffiths who does really well to get up above his man. But under pressure, he gets a shout from the crowd and manages to turn it back to Hatfield. Hatfield to Little. Little left to Sukar. Sukar advancing. Finds Hatfield. Hatfield turns past his man. That's a beautiful turn by Will Hatfield. It's a good challenge though. And there's some ball in that for Scarborough. Good tackle. Platt wins the second ball though and finds Little. Little then gives it wide to Sukar. Sukar pushes it past his man. Gets the cross in. It's a good cross. It's headed goal bound. It's Callum Griffiths again <laughs> with a header. That's Callum Griffiths in the He's the in aerial the threat all of a sudden. I know. Good, good, good starting to take hold of this game by the scruff of the neck, which is good news for Darlington fans. Hannah picks the ball up, finds Lees. Lees invited forward with the pace of the ball there. Lees finds Griffiths. Griffiths, nice little return That's ball nice. to Lees. Lees st stops a little bit, comes back to Griffiths. Griffiths takes a touch and then dinks one around the penalty spot. All players competing for it. There's a penalty, penalty in there. I think it's a handball. The referee, Mr Bancroft, indicates a handball. There was a shout for it from behind the goal in the tin shed. Wasn't... Did you well? Was he's it clear to you? He's definitely signalling for a handball. Darlington 1-0 down to the visitors. The second half, they get a penalty. Mm. Will Hatfield stands over it. It sounds familiar. He, he scores! Equalizes. Hatfield drives it right down the goalkeeper's throat into the back of the net. Darlington back on level terms, 1-0. No less than they deserve in this game. They've had the better chances. And now we have an FA Cup tie on our hands. For the second week in a row, it's Will Hatfield from the spot gets Darlington back on terms. Darlington Yay! 1, Scarborough 1, Will Hatfield again. Ball dinked forward. Hannah gets there first, but the ball pops back to Perver. Scarborough having a few minutes here. Ball played down the left-hand side. It's uh, played down and uh, Ben Headley gets the tackle in but concedes the corner. Scarborough corner in front of their fans in swinging. Decent delivery all the way on the back post and it's a downward header which is bounced down into the ground and over the bar from close range. Gets up for the next header but it's a Scarborough head forward. Lees heads it only to Perver. Perver uh, slides into that ball and then it finds Hazel for Darling but Hazel can't get on the end of it, just goes under his feet. Will Hatfield's pressing the ball high up the pitch. He's certainly, as always, got the most energy out of everybody. Hannah heads the ball up in the air looking for Little. Little just helps it up on its way. Purves underneath it, heads it back. Purver picks the ball up, but Hatfield takes the ball off him. Salkeld is going to try and pressurise Will Edgy down that far side. Will Edgy just presses it down the line. Hannah is underneath it and does well. Ooh. Oh, he's, oh, he's giving it away. To, oh, my oh, gosh, that's what? nearly a foul. Oh, he's giving a penalty, the referee. Well, that's an absolute comedy of errors. I was, I've spent all day saying how good Jack Hanna's been, but he's fired the ball back towards goal. It's going to take some explaining, this one. There's a yellow card in there as well. Hanna fired that's it back towards Robson. Robson pushed it back out. There was a coming together. Hanna has let the ball go across him. He's pressurised there, fires it back. Robson pushes it back onto the line. And then there's a, that's a collision, mind. I'm not sure that's necessarily a penalty. There's a coming together after... Um, Coulson has got the ball and that just looks like two players running into each other to me I'm not sure who he's booked has he booked Toby Lees there because I initially thought he'd booked Platt went to note pick, it and realised that Platt had already pick been pick me a penalty booked. out of this Mike pick, I, me a, pick me a penalty out of this replay honestly not sure I can Loney has the chance here with three minutes left on the clock and he puts it away Scarborough have got back in the game in front of their fans 
I'm not convinced it's a penalty, to be honest. A question about the penalty, but no question about the penalty. Well put away by Lewis Maloney into the top corner. Darlington have come from behind once already today. They've got about three minutes to do it again. Or they are going out. Since that goal, Darlington have, have gone, unfortunately. Scarborough have got their tails up. and yeah, Clever flick and a controversial penalty. Looks like being enough. And the referee, Mr Bancroft, blows the full-time whistle in Scarborough Athletic, who will go into the hat for the next round of the FA Cup. Darlington out. Darlington on level terms through a mid-second half penalty. I'm not convinced, to be honest, about Scarborough's penalty at the end, but as you say, we'll take another look on different angles. But nonetheless, a little bit of a farcical way to go out of the FA Cup, but there we are. Out we go. Congratulations to Scarborough. They are the victors. And into the next round they go. Yeah, good luck to them in future rounds. Road their luck a little perhaps today. I think Darlington just the better side. Joe Cracknell certainly the better, already the busier of the two keepers. Plenty of chances.